It's time for the special feature of What's My Line. Now the appearance of our mystery guests. Are your blindfolds all in place, panels? Yes, yes they are. Then would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Oh. You have about two minutes to discover the identity of our mystery guest. We'll go one question at a time, and let's start with Werner Klemperer. I take it by this wonderful reception that you are in the entertainment field? Yes. And... <laughs> Eileen? And I... Oh. Are you a comedian? Yes. <laughs> Soupy? Uh, do you live on the West Coast? No. <laughs> Joanna? And uh, you live on the East Coast and you're a comedian. Uh, do you appear uh, in nightclubs? No. <laughs> Where? Are you... I think you're assuming you, that comedian means stand-up, which may be a mistake. Are you currently appearing in a quite giant hit as of recent days? No. Yes. <laughs> Arlene. Take it, Arlene. The, uh, I think uh, Werner knows that it must be yes. the inimitable, brilliant comedian Sam Levine. Sam Levine is who that is. Sam Levine is one of the two people in the world who can walk on the stage, and if he can just get on, he's gotcha. Well, you know, I had the Never pleasure seen... of watching Mr. Levine on they the They sure got me. Are you kidding? I hadn't said but once, and I was finished. <laughs> well, I heard you I watched you with great joy on the Dick Cavett show the other night. I think it's too How do you like that? You and should get over and see the Sunshine Boys and watch him with great boy joy there. He is incredible. And so is, so is Larry. Larry does a very good imitation of me. Go ahead, Larry. I do an imitation of Sam Levine. The only imitations I do of Sam Levine you can't do on television. <laughs> <laughs> One night I went back, and after the show was over, I'll tell you what Sam said in the show. But Sam, listen, when what? you start, I've seen you in some, in some plays that sometimes a play wasn't so hot, but I've never seen you anything short of brilliant. When you start to read a part, what is it that you look for first? The money. <laughs> Then what do you look for second? <laughs> the money. <laughs> I'm half afraid to ask you what you look for third. No, I just look by. What do you mean? For, what Listen, do I when look Sam for? came out for his curtain call the other opening night of the play, the entire audience stood up and yelled bravo. The whole thing. He went bananas out there and he blamed his son for it. <laughs> so no, Joe my started son. it. Joe didn't start it. Yes, he did. I had my son in the first row and he yelled bravo, bravo, and I told him to shut up. <laughs> he did, too. Point his cane at him to shut up from the stage. It was kind of endearing. Yeah. It's not very often that you see a warm father-son relationship on, on, uh, on the stage anymore. What's the best thing about working in this play? Was it an interesting thing to do out of town? Was it fun? Well, it's, uh, besides being a funny play, it was a very good relationship between Alan Arkin, who was a brilliant director, mm -hmm. and Jack Albertson, who was my partner. Who was marvelous in the Who was just marvelous, marvelous to work with. And Neil Simon, who was probably the greatest comedy writer of all time, I think. Did he do much work out of town, Doc Simon? Not too much, no. But he's brilliant, you know. He would put in a joke uh, in the afternoon, and we use it at night, and get a big laugh. He's incredible, this man. Did you mention the name of the show, The Sunshine Boys? The Sunshine oh. Boys. You've worked for some of the some of the great writers of our time. You work for Abe Burroughs. You yes, work, I did. You work with uh, Moss Hart. Moss Hart. You yeah. work with... Uh, he went to school with Martin Gable. I went to school, school with Martin, Martin Gable. <laughs> How is Marty, by the way? He's fine. Thank you, Sam. You work with George Kaufman. George S. Kaufman. You yes. work with... George Abbott. George Abbott. Irving Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Irving Bauer? My cousin. He runs a tailor shop in Brooklyn. <laughs> Irving, the... Irving Bauer happens to be a fairly good writer. I did a play off-Broadway called A Dream Out of Time. You Nobody also, ever heard of it. You also did a, a play by a brilliant novelist a couple of years ago that... that, that yes, I wrote. Saul Bellow. Saul Bellow. Yeah, I, wasn't very, I wasn't very good in it. I heard you were. What Jeez. happened to that play? It closed. It closed. <laughs> this one is going to be open this forever. Is... I don't know about forever, board. but it's a very, very funny play, and I invite everybody to come down and see it. Well, if you do go down and see it, you're going to have one wild time. It's brilliant, it's funny, and Sam Levine, as usual, is one of our national art treasures. Thank you. Sam, thank you for being with us thank on Watch My Mind. Thank you very much.